Hello dear YouTubers, these days over Easter I am a little bit around my Amiga on there. I fixed it, I, I bought a new PC board and put it in. Uh, it was very heavy to get software on these disks as I don't have a transfer possibility from PC. So I used my Amiga 1200 with um, a transfer kit to transfer data. Especially software I want to show you today. This one was a copy of a workbench disk. And I reduced it to get size or space in it. And um, I, I transferred a tool named Cursor, which uh, translates Amiga basic source code uh, into assembler program. And it is assembling it and linking it. And then this thing is running um, much faster. <clears throat> and I want to show you also the, 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 the tool um, the, the executable which comes out is is depending on this basic library but this library can also be linked statically into the executable so you have only one executable file the tool name names cursor this thing is to translate Amiga basic files which are stored in ASCII file format on disk to uh, um, um, a machine program, as well as, uh, in, yeah, in executables, right? It has also a kind of graphical user interface, which is acting like a programming environment. I'm recording with my mobile phone because my recording device somehow has really troubles. It is. It has also a, a editor you could use as a, rep, a replacement for for Emacs or, or or something. And there is one example: a uh, um, a Mandelbrot calculation stuff. And you see here the the editor, and I like it because you can. I move these bars on there. <clears throat> In a second part of this movie, we will have to 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 put this away. Otherwise, Amiga Basic won't be interpreting it. But for this demonstration, we will now run cursor. There are options that you can put standalone programs. This is when the library is then hard linked into it. So. So the, the executable gets about 30 kilobyte bigger as now as it will be dynamically linking. What, what we will do, Jürgen Forster's program this in the 90s and we will just compile and run it to get an idea uh, how fast it is. I like this very much so so you could um, program in Amiga basic your programs which is kind of easy and you can write small programs for example which clears the screen or whatever and then you can translate it and then you have on the command line interface on DOS so on Amiga DOS a clear statement yeah. and you see how, how it is calculating you will just wait on, uh, a few seconds but you see how how these boxes are drawn uh, just to keep in mind for comparison if you now run the same basic program in Amiga basic let 
let's call Amiga Basic. I copied Amiga Basic onto this disk also and put it into the search path of uh, one second mansync, right? Mansync.bas. I, I forgot the file name. I forgot the file name. Man sync, I think man sync, man sync dot pass, right? This this is the file of Amiga Basic, which is stored in ASCII format. So let's let's Amiga Basic. Let's run this. I did not put the name as a as a parameter, as it will try to execute it. But we have to modify it. Man sync dot buzz. We have to remove this line on here. Otherwise, it won't execute. And now look at this. It's much, much slower. Yeah. So this was the demonstration. I will quit this now and let's run. Let's run now. The standalone. You see how fast this is the assembled one. Okay, this I wanted to show you. Thank you for your interest and I wish you a happy Easter and keep away from Corona. Bye. Stay away. Huh? Bye.